If you were a Notion user, you might want to pay attention to this one. It's a bit out there, but I think you're going to love it. Let me explain. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video about how Elgato Stream Deck has become my secret productivity tool when working from home. And I mentioned that I've been using it with Notion, that all-in-one workspace we love talking about on this channel. Well, I've gone a few steps further and, to be honest, perhaps a little too far, and created a custom control pad for Notion desktop users, including an icon pack and setup instructions to go with it so that you can try it out on the mobile app and people I am loving it. Hi everyone, it's Simon back with more ideas and tools to simplify productivity and creative life. First things first, if you didn't see my video on using Stream Deck for productivity or you're new to Stream Deck, um, do check out the, that video first and come back here. It's amazing how many use cases there are for it on a work from home desk setup. So really quickly explained, a Stream Deck works by helping you automate regular or more complex tasks to be a simple press of a button. You can customize infinite profiles and folders for different apps and workflow contexts from opening apps, program shortcut boards, and ready-made plugins for your favorite applications. And for jumping straight to regular apps and websites, even doing automatic email replies. But as you may be aware, <laughs> I mostly run my life from Notion and there wasn't a plugin for that. So I built this, the Notion Stream Deck Workpad. I'm using the Stream Deck hotkey functions or the text insert function to program my favorite Notion shortcuts or forward slash commands to build this more visual one touch macro pad. It's really great for actions like toggling light mode on and off, quickly navigating pages or adding and editing elements quickly when you're writing or building something in Notion. So my pack includes buttons for inserting major elements and pages or inline items, actions for setting reminders, searching your workspace, moving blocks to different pages and turning blocks into new formats. It has both a color uh, option and a black and white option, a mono option if you prefer that in design. I've also made an icon for things like adding a toggle list or even toggling all toggles on a page open and closed. <laughs> Say that in a hurry. I love how the visual nature of the buttons really removes that friction of remembering the more obscure commands and speeds up the process. Whilst it doesn't seem like much of changing a quick shortcut to a single button, the visual aid and the reduction of steps, even if they're like one or two, is huge and has really sped up my workflow and improved my interaction with Notion. I also think it's great to be able to mix non-Notion functions into the same button profile. For example, I can quickly jump to my emails and back when I'm working in Notion. If you want to try this out yourself, Stream Deck offer a mobile version which is available for a month for free, so you can test it out and then it's a couple of dollars after that per month, or you could just buy the physical Stream Deck for a one-off payment uh, and give it a go. Now, I will show you how all of it works in just a moment, but I have to say my favorite hack has been creating buttons that jump straight to my key Notion pages, whatever I'm doing on my computer, even when the program isn't open. So I've used Stream Deck's multi-action function to make these buttons for my content creation dashboard and notebooks page. A cool tip for Apple users is to create a Notion widget on your phone or iPad and then get a customized image from it, screenshot it, crop it, use it as your button. This way you can sync up your visuals across your whole thing. I love doing that, you know, all of your devices. And speaking of button pressing, press this thumb shaped one for me quickly and support the channel. It really does go a long way. I'd love to hear from you as well in the comments below on what you make of all this. Here's how to set up this system yourself. First, download the Stream Deck desktop app from Elgato's website. I've put a link below. And for the Notion profile that you'll create, you'll want to download my icon pack and shortcut guide too. Good. <laughs> You'll then either need your own Stream Deck or you'll want to go to the App Store and download Stream Deck's mobile app. It's free for the first month to try and can be cancelled if you don't want it anymore. Just click the monthly sign up. Next, you either plug in your Stream Deck or open the mobile app and follow the QR code process to link your mobile app with the desktop app. Click on the device list and select the phone to do it. I also found that it would automatically sync my Stream Deck to the mobile app when I added the mobile as well as a physical Stream Deck, which is great because I now have two devices if I want to have a, a more buttons and also I don't have to re-input everything. Pretty good. From here, 
I created a home screen with some of my favorite functions, notably using the open function button to open my favorite apps. You just drag it across, then set the command, and then click the arrow button on the icon to add an icon in various different ways. I recommend Icon Finder, it's a good website to find some, or just search for packs or the internet. There are plenty of great basic tutorials on setting up Stream Deck in general out there on YouTube for other use cases. So next, we create a new profile called Notion like this. From there, we can add a multi-action button that includes an open app button to open Notion. And then a switch profile action to move to the Notion profile automatically like this. I'll show you how to create these page specific action buttons in a bit that help you jump to your favorite Notion pages. You can also set a profile so that it automatically appears when you are in its favored app like this. Now you might enjoy that, you might find it really annoying. See how you go, I'm on the fence at the moment. I then put together a list of my favorite Notion shortcuts and commands and of course gathered a set of button icons to go with them which are in the pack, uh, that's what takes the time. To add functions that use a command button in Apple or a control uh, shortcut in Windows, you need to use a hotkey function. To add functions that use the forward slash function, I was really pleased with this, you need to use the text input action. So for hotkeys, click on the hotkey input box and it will say observing keystrokes. Do the shortcut, like command P for search. I then like to rename the title so that I know what it does but click the hide title or hide text option so that the button only shows the image, but that's up to you. You can then click on the arrow in the top right corner of the icon window and select set from file, find the icon from my pack you want to use or create your own and add it. And there you go. For forward slash functions, you just type the forward slash command into the text box and then if applicable, you wanna check the press enter after message box to automatically return the action fully. I use this one for things like inserting new tables in line or opening the emoji menu, but for other commands like forward slash turn into, where you can format something, uh, that command you might want to not press return so that you leave the menu open on Notion and then select things with the mouse. Now rather than go through every single step of instructions for this process, I've included what else you need in the downloadable icon pack uh, if you want to try that out. In the pack, I've also included a blank Notion button that you can use with the create new icon option in the Stream Deck menu to make any buttons that you want that may not be included. Let's dive into my favorite use case though. This is worth showing. Direct Notion page opening with multi-actions. Because I use Notion so regularly to run my life and creative business, this has to be my favorite discovery. In one button, I can open Notion, search for a page, then open it and hack these widget buttons from iOS onto my deck. Here's how it works. You can create your own button image if you want, or for iOS, try this. On your Apple device, create a Notion widget for your chosen pages by editing the home screen. Add a small widget and then select Notion and the page that you want it to open. Take a screenshot of your page and crop the image to fit. It works best if uh, on a back background and then send the image to your computer. Next, um, open a multi-action button in your Stream Deck. Action one is to open the app, select Notion. Action two needs to be a delay. You put that in like that. So there's a time for the app to open fully before you input the next instruction. I set mine to 3000 milliseconds, which seems to work quite well on my Mac. You should test it out. The next action is a hotkey with either Command or Control P to open a search in Notion. The next action is a text input uh, where you write the title of the page you want to go to. Then if it comes up at the top of the page every time, you should then do press enter after message uh, in the box. Add the icon image you created and test it. Access to your important pages at the click of a custom button. Well, there you go, my Notion workpad for Stream Deck. Give it a go. You should watch this video next to go deeper into the power of Stream Deck for productivity. And this one on more on how to improve your life with my simple Notion systems. It would be awesome if you subscribed. It would be amazing if you left a comment below and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.